my name's Lily and I want to be a ballerina. I don't think there'd be a lot of things that could stand in a way to stop her, to be honest. A bit too mouthy. <laughs> Very determined. <clears throat> Superstar Princess Lily. Why am I having all this film crew in here? Drains? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the way to my bedroom, and this is how I open the door. Uh... Lily is full on, but she's very passionate about things. This is my bathroom, and what I like about my bathroom is my pink curtain. Lily's got a thing about pink. She likes bling bling. She likes bling bling. Anything pink and sparkly, yes, definitely, yeah. And this is my room. So for Lily, her um, arthrogryposis, she has an all four limbs, so her hands face the wrong way, her arms, are st elbows are stiff and her shoulders are rotated forward. I can get up to my bed by coming through here. You guys have to try and squeeze through if you want to. Her That's hips don't work, so when she walks, she has yeah. to walk through That's her right. hips rather than swing her legs, and she can't bring her legs together on her own. Um, here are some steps. She much prefers to be on her bottom on the floor. She um, knuckles her hands, moves herself around, because it's quicker. She's 24 and a half kilos now, so the damage she can do to her shoulders is getting to be more and more noticeable. And this step is a bit wobbly. Lily doesn't like using prosthetics. They feel uncomfortable. They're really, really slow. For me, I find it frustrating that she doesn't want to use her legs. And I'm sort of thinking, but you would be so much better if you could use your legs. And she's going, yeah, but I don't want to use my legs. I just want to stay on my bottom and shuffle all day. And what's your favourite way of getting around? Crawling and moving on my bottom. They're both the best. Why are they the best, do you think? <laughs> because you're a bit easier than walking. Mm. Rosie normally falls asleep when I put her, when I lie her down. So I just sit her up so she stays awake. Guys, just tell me if she waits. Ten. Lily came into our lives when she was eight months old. Mum and Dad were in a place where they couldn't look after her, so we took on full day-to-day -day care and guardianship of Lily. And, um, you know, that was a change in plans. I mean, my youngest is 23, so I kind of, we kind of had a different life for us planned with it once my last one left home. So this is all, all new again, back to being, you know, single income, supporting a child, doing all the the mummy things and nappies and night bottles and stuff. When Lily was first born, she was born with, um, she looked wrong. Her arms and legs were all in different angles where they shouldn't have been. I went to visit and I noticed there was something wrong. I did say something and the midwife just said she was gonna be fine. She was just in the birth canal too long. She'd come right. Well, it wasn't until she was about three months old that she was taken to a doctor and diagnosed from there with the arthrogryposis. Hi, girl. Can you go we had actually no expectations at all. We were just winging it pretty much because we didn't know what arthrogryposis was. It was a really long learning curve. We did some internet research on it. Um, meet up with a group who, with arthrogryposis, and um, they were absolutely amazing. Brilliantly took us through everything we needed to know, and we're there all the way. We knew that it was just an umbrella term to cover a whole range of things, so 
in each case that we had seen, the condition was different. So I haven't seen anyone with, with like Lily, who has it in both arms and legs, and who was um, stopped by doing most things because of that. Here we go. You're going to count with me, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. What we're doing is every time we changed her nappy or she was lying down drinking a bottle, we would try and stretch out her limbs to try and stop some of the tightening that was going on. <laughs> but what was happening was the tightening was ongoing, so at some point she would end up having to have surgery because the the limbs were going to tighten to the point where her legs, her heels would be on her bottom and she wouldn't even be able to sit. Nice. Jen, what's daddy got? Reading for you, Papa. Papa, Lil. At that point, it was already too late. The legs and the arms were too set um, and it was only down to physio. And the amount of physio they said that she would need would be eight hours a day. Nice girls. Oh. Love you. So we had the first surgery on October the 2nd, just before she turned five. So hours in surgery, and they cut through the top of the foot and pulled the foot around, straightened it up. And six weeks after that, the blood vessels had been so badly damaged during the surgery that the foot died. First amputation, that had to probably be the hardest because we weren't thinking of amputation at that point, we were just thinking antibiotics, fixing it, and it would be OK. So that was what was really, really hard. <laughs> Having to watch her come out of surgery and see that she's lost her leg, it was really hard. She just says, Mummy, why did you let them cut my foot off and throw it in the rubbish bin? And you can't tell her that. been really honest with Lily and we told her every time she went into surgery what was going to happen and what the outcome would be yeah so she knew that if she had the legs removed she would be able to get new legs and still walk that was that was her goal that's all she wanted to do she wants to dance Would you like to show me your new legs? Shall we get out of here and try them on and see? Are we off? When she first got them, they had these big duck feet on the bottom of them again. No, they're not my feet. They're not my feet. And she was disappointed because they didn't look like legs. Well, she didn't want to use them. Didn't like them at all. They were, they were bulky. They were horrible. They hurt. Next month. Some help. Oh, well done. Can you get up on your knees? Nope. Is it hard, is it? A bit harder than getting up. No, you try. Over there. Keep going. This belt needs. I'm having to learn to walk with legs that aren't yours. That's really hard work. Can you stand up nice and tall for me? Well done, Lily. That's lovely. And she has lumbar lordosis, so her back curves under, and you'll see and when she stands, she stands arched. And it's about teaching her to use her core tummy muscles and bring in her tushy to stand straight. And once she can start doing that, she'll start to get her own centre of gravity a bit better. Thank you. Thank you. I need my walk. Tummy in. Tummy in. You're doing it beautifully today. I'm running. I beat you. MC, try and beat me. Squeeze that bottom, touch that tongue. <gasps> I beat you! Good one. Oh. Can you turn around? One to ah. one side. Come on. 
Oh, Lily, you've got to do I'll this. I'll put my hands on you so it won't happen in a hurry. I want you to sit down on my hip for me. Go sideways. Good no, time. that's a hurting oh. hip. Oh. Here you go. Thank you, Mary. Daddy can have the bag. Read the words in the story. I know you've all been tested for your reading, so I know how well you're reading anyway. The lion looked up. This is her second year of school. She's been a lot more time at school this year than she did last year, but she's doing really, really well. Good girl, Lily. I like the way you entered. Did you use sounds to work out the word let? Well done. Yeah, I'm really proud of how well she's done, considering how much time she's been in hospital and how much pain she's been in. She's managed to keep up with all the other kids in class. When I was on a boat, I kicked a snapper and it pulled me into the water. <laughs> My dad went like this. <laughs> Once I was on the boat and the boat cracked in half and it tipped upside down and I was sticking to it because I was glued onto it. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges Lily has at school during lunchtime and playtime, she stays in her wheelchair. There's nothing else for her to do. All oh, the other kids are doing jump jam and running around the playground. She can't do that. Running in and out of the sand pit, they're running around chasing each other. But when she joins in, they run fast and she can't keep up. So she kind of just gets bored and wanders around. This is where I need her to walk so that she can be out there and be mobile and be in amongst all her friends. And even if she can't climb the jungle gyms, she can still be at the bottom cheering them on. At this point, she can't even get near the jungle gyms. So Lily's using her legs at the moment every day at school. She's got an awesome teacher over there called Caroline who puts her through her paces. She walks from the toilet block to the library on her own with her walker on her, in her legs, which takes 33 minutes. It's a 10 second walk for the average person. Thank you, Lou. On an average day, for Lily, uh, 10, 20 minutes in her legs is tiring. We reckon. 10 minutes using prosthetics is the same as a normal person doing a quarter mile run. Sweetie, you want a drink? Hey? I want my legs. Okay, well, as soon as we get through to the classroom, we can take your legs. Bye. Six. Oh my gosh, turn to fast, I can't count anymore. Yeah, can we turn my legs off right here? Yes, then you have to go down. No, I can't keep down on my own. It hurts my hips so much. When I first stand up on my legs, I cried a little bit because it hurt it. Hello, Sweetie. Oh, what's that? As the week goes by, if we get down to Just Thursday and Friday, we notice the anger is starting. Um, a lot of anger coming in. She's really aggressive. Um, she yells and screams. At the end of last year, Lily was so aggressive, and it was every single day. 
and was lasting two or three hours. And she was just yelling and screaming and trying to hit and carry on. No, I'm not touching you. Okay. What do you want to do then? Do my own thing and do what I want. Okay. And I won't even bother about listening to you again. Yeah. <laughs> it just comes down to the, I guess, the grieving process. Remember, she had dozens and dozens of surgeries and had so much invasive stuff done to her that it was almost overloading her system. And it was no. control. She needed some piece of control in her life. I want everybody at all. And I'm meaning no one in here. So both of you are out. I want to see your neck. Everything she does is physically draining for her. But 99% of the time, she's really, really positive about everything she does. So everything she does is done to the best of her ability. Daddy, can you please put me off the table? I can. You ready for dinner? Yep. She needs Thanks, to be independent. Dad. I think that's um, a big thing. And there's nothing wrong with her brain, so there's no reason why she can't figure things out and do things Where herself and find a way to do things. Can you have any salad? No, thank you, because I don't like salad. We got tired of feeding her because her arms used to be straight and hands face backwards, and we just got tired of feeding her all the time. And we just said to one day, You've got to do this yourself. Salad tastes like rotten tomatoes. Put hairs on your chest. I'm not a man. You're not. So Pete built a tray that sits on the, sure. that holds her plate because she needs to rest on the side. And if she rests on the side of the plate, her plate would flip over all the time. So he built a tray, put the plate in there, and she could rest on that. She can feed herself. Now she taught herself to feed herself out of necessity. Hey, Nelly, look at this cool book I found to read you. Oh, did you buy it? It says all tutus should be pink. Pink. For my favorite color. Oh, I know. I love my new tutu. It's pink! I'll say all the pink, okay? okay. Emily has a pink! Two, two, two. Our favourite person is our dance teacher, Mrs. Eboy. She used to be a famous pink tutu dancer. We want to grow up to be famous pink tutu dancers too but I think we would wear our tutus even if we were truck drivers. Just recently she had a really bad dream, woke her twice, and in that dream everything in her room was running away from her and she couldn't catch up and she was really, really scared because nothing in her room was still, it was moving away from her. She says to me, Mummy, but I have a dream catcher. Why didn't it catch my dreams? And she says, because a dream catcher only catches bad dreams. bad dreams. Maybe your dream was trying to tell you something. Maybe you need to start walking now so you can catch up to these things. So now she wants to get up and start walking because her dream has told her that this is what she should be doing now. We got horse riding, Mum. You already? Yeah. Cool. And la, 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 la. Going horse riding. Today I'm horse riding at the horse park, and I and if my um f and if someone picks me a dirty horse, I can magic it into a pretty horse with my magic wand. La 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 la. It would be um really cool if I fell off and I was still holding onto the reins. <laughs> Oh, magic wand. Oh, magic wand. Come on. You have some work to do. Magic wand. Hi, Hi, Lily. Welcome to RDA. How are you? Good. You excited? Yes. It's going to be fun, isn't it? You're going to yeah. be riding Atlas. Yeah. It's a very cute pony. <gasps> Mum, she didn't say Edson. Oh, my goodness, you're fast, Lily. Okay, I know the one you really want. But we don't. That's pretty good, isn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Now she's learning to walk her balance is improving and proprioception. Yes. Mum, um, again, can you that's something on riding chair? riding can help with yep. with the balance of proprioception. One, two, two three. three. Just relax. There we go. Oh, right. We're looking at building core strength, okay. making it a really no, fun gonna... activity which builds confidence. To get the feeling of freedom, being on a horse, because that's really important. And looking down on everyone, instead of always looking, looking up, up. Yeah. which is that's why she it's yells. huge. That's why she yells. Mm. Magic! Can we go jump? <laughs> we can go down the stretch out the front again. Good job. Good job. Walk Thank on. That's, it. That's good very job. good. Very clear. You nearly stepped in the pose. Oh. <laughs> that shed looks very dirty for flame. Taller than you, you and you. We're going to go and meet Robbie and Jackie, and Robbie's missing one leg as well. So it's going to be really good for Lily to meet her and a female that she can talk to about that. I've got a big surprise for you. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, you must be Lily. Hi. 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 Welcome, welcome. I'm Robbie. Come in. This is my mum, Jackie. Hello, Hello Lily. Delighted to have you at our house. Uh, and this is your mum? Yeah. Bye. You alright? Let's Box go. Later. All right. Do you know what these are? Um, that's what I'm going to get when I get my legs. Exactly. And do you know whose these belong to? You. Me. Do you know this leg here? This is the leg. My last leg that I had before I had a huge operation. Kind of like the operation that you've had. So when I was little, I was born with a leg down to here, but it wasn't a very good leg. And so when I was 12, they cut it off through the knee. This was my first ever leg. That you had when you were a baby. Yeah, do you want to touch it? Yeah. You can hold on to it if you want. And do you know what my leg is called? No. It's called Lucy. Lucy? Lucy. And this is Lucy, and this is Lucy, and they're all called Lucy. Is, there, is that their name? Yeah, that's their name because... Did you name them? Yes. Well, it was really difficult for me to say prosthesis, that's a proper word for it, or artificial leg when I was little, so we called it Lucy Leg. Mm -hmm. This one has pink painted toes. Can you see? Did you paint them? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you do that vowel, I'll do this vowel. Yeah. She's just recently had a huge big uh, blowout. Just everything came out. I, I don't want to be me. I don't want to be somebody in a wheelchair. I don't want people to stare at me. I want to be able to dance. I want to be able to swim and I want to be able to play in the jungle gyms with the kids at school. And I don't want to spend all day sitting in my wheels. I want to, yeah, it was just so much. I just suddenly realised who she was, you know? Yeah. It was about this age and it was the realisation that how I am is not how everybody else is, and I just say, Mum, is my little leg going to grow like the other one? And I'd say, oh, yes, Rob, it, it'll grow, but it might not grow as much as the one on the right. And so she'd digest that and ponder that, and then about six weeks later, we'd go through it all over again. And then we went through another season where I think Robbie decided herself, well, what the heck? And her prosthetic was um, fluorescent pink when she was a chapel prefect at her school with a, uh, a crucifix because she uh, tattooed sort of with pen down the side of it. So she thought, what the heck, if I'm going to, why not? Here I am, world, I'm coming. Mm. Does it feel real to you? Mm, kind of. I, I want to ask you about your duck feet. Can you tell me about your duck feet? Oh, well, if I bring them in, I could have soaked them. And do you... Want to use them more? No. What about at school? Or at high school? How will you get around then? Do this all the time. You're going to go around on your bottom all the time? Mm-hmm. Is it easier? Even, oh, I can't when I go to high school because there's a lot of stairs that I'll have to get up. 
So what could you use a leg like this for? Um, walking. Walking? Would you be tall or short? Tall. Tall? How tall? Um, the same as you. The same as me? And what about dance? Do you like dancing? What's your favourite type of dancing? <sighs> Ballerina. Ballerina. Me too. Belly is my life. Is it? Do you know what we're going to do this afternoon? What? We're going to go meet some real ballerinas. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about that? You're the best. We thought it'd be really cool to take Lily to a uh, ballet class and watch the dancers do their practice. We were hoping that it would inspire her and push her along and see the need for her to be walking on her duck feet and then further along up to bigger legs. I can do a spin. You can do a spin, can you? Can you? Yeah. But, but it's one knee. Wow. Yeah. My biggest hopes and dreams for Lily would be that she can dance. She just wants to be on a stage where people can see her. She's so confident about who she is. And then floating arms like in Swan Lake. It may take her a bit longer. And, if you and it may not look completely like being a ballerina. <laughs> she might be the first double amputee ballerina. <laughs> yeah. talk about her needing to be in her legs, but at the end of, the, of whatever day she wants it to be, if she doesn't want to be in her legs, that's her call. Because she's only going to do what's good for her, because what's what I think is good for her and what ends up being good for her are two completely different things in the end, you know. She will choose what's best for her, and if it's her wheels, then wheels it is, you know. She will make that work. She will always find a way to make that work. 